Hello, Paul is the best for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Every day in April 2019, 6pm, a new Game of Day on the Commodore 64. Now this is Simon Wellard's and the of Mark Washbooks presents Battle Valley. Now originally, back in the day, I had this on a Commodore magazine cover tape. The uh, I think it was Commodore format. Uh, they uh, give it free away on the, on the cover tape, but yeah, so... I am revisiting it today and uh, yep yeah. so let's start the game let's see some nice music and some weird uh, effects and uh, so yeah uh, music off see you can never tell whether that means music on or that means music on now music on yeah okay so let's start the game so you can see prepare for combat now the music's very good in this game, makes good use of the SID chip and the Commodore 64. And now you are a tank. Or an helicopter. No, you can choose whichever. You, you like use double tap to on the fire button to start. And then you can take off and be the helicopter instead. So yeah, it's very innovative in, in that respect. And yeah, so uh, you can see that the foreground's parallax and the middle is parallax, the uh, background's parallax, so it gives a nice 3D look. Oh yeah, music's good as you can hear. See the C at the back bottom. Matings look good in the back. Watch out for this guy right there. Yeah. Some of that. So we keep going. Okay, so we're in some sort of uh, war field here. Watch out for these guys right there. Yeah. You can see at the bottom your damage, it says damage, well it did say moderate, now it says severe. So I'm probably, it's probably wise that I uh, return to uh, base. Um, but let's go, go and return to base. Try and avoid all the uh, enemies on the way. Whoa, careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damage critical, so I'm going to blow up in a minute if I'm not careful. So yeah, so uh, this is Battle Valley. Good use of the uh, Commodore 64's graphics and sound on this one. So if I double tap and land, we'll be the tank this time. Yeah, so you've got a movable turret as well. Up and down moves your turret and your tank. Tanks all, all terrain so it can easily navigate through all these holes and stuff. Yeah, across the bridge we're going left this time instead of right. I have got some shells, shells, I'm not sure how to use them there. So yeah, you can, uh, it tells you what you've destroyed in the bottom, where your energy is as well. So yeah, we are driving along in my tank. Watch out for these jet planes, they're flying rather low aren't they? Have some of that. Okay, uh, I'll go this way again. And yeah, uh, okay, I'll cross the bridge. Yeah, I think that some of the, uh, I think the, the game programmers made some good use of the uh, Commodore 64's hardware spike crape abilities. Because some sprites are bigger than others and stuff. Sometimes you can tell when it's hardware sprite because sometimes it can have a pixelated look if it's a, if it's big, if it's a big size. Oh, uh, is is where you, at this at this point, you can uh, if as long as you get it on it, quite hard. You got to try and uh, get in that bit there and this will refuel fuel your ammo so as you can see this is put, giving me some more shells and it goes one more to go each one of these gives you 10 shells so we keep going I'm not sure even sure how to use these shells is it enter F1 oh you fuck so I think that was sort of like hardware sprite with that explosion and uh, yep, so that's uh, Battle Valley on the Commodore 64. I'm going to give that 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.